What is up Squash Force? Welcome back to a new video. I'm so happy you guys enjoyed my last video on the split step. If you haven't watched it yet, please go check it out. It's a great video. So now, today, I want to be talking about two different types of spins with you guys. So the most common one people talk about is cutting the ball with an open racket face. This is just very common in squash, but that's not what we're going to talk about here today. We're going to be talking about two different spins that I consider can easily be implemented into a fundamental part of your game. So, if you guys haven't done so yet, please do like this video and subscribe to my channel, guys. It really helps me a lot and yeah, let's get right into it. The first spin that I will get into is basically wrapping your racket around the outside of the ball uh, basically to keep the ball tight prevent yourself from hitting the side wall and just getting the ball running down into the back a uh, very common thing that happens is that people always hit the side wall slowing the ball down make it, making it easy for the opponent to get but if you actually never hit the side wall you add so much pressure in the back even if it is a bit looser just not hitting the side wall can make a massive impact so I'm going to show you guys how to play this spin, right? So what I mean with cutting the ball from the outside, I mean going around the ball with your racket like this, right? So we're not hitting the ball straight or here. We're actually kind of wrapping around the ball here to avoid it hitting the side wall with our spin. This is sort of what that will look like, right? You see that ball? It lands around here and flies into the side wall and stays nice and tight, guys. So doing this will keep your ball nice and tight to the side wall. If you actually use that going around and include a full follow through, you'll get really good results and tight shots here in the back. Right guys, so obviously we can do this spin I just showed you on either side of the court. Same thing on the forehand, wrapping around the ball. Okay. So what can actually happen here sometimes is that you hit the ball and it still hits the side wall, but by creating that spin, it only hops out a bit and still continues down that drive, keeping the ball tight. So make sure you practice this on both sides. Okay, so spin number one, coming by outside, keeping the ball tight. This is often if the ball is already tight that we use this type of shot. Uh, someone who does this really well is uh, Mustafa Sal. I'll show some clips and he, uh, Especially on the back and you really see him wrap around that ball to keep it nice and tight. Alright, so the second spin we will use in a scenario where the ball is coming out and you have a big angle between you and the back corner. So there's quite some distance between you and the side wall, meaning you want the ball running away into that corner and having it die off. So what we do to hit that shot is hit the ball inside out the complete opposite of what we just did, right? On the tight shot, wrap around it, keep it tight. On this one, hit the ball on the inside, follow through to give it that run down the line, guys. So the complete opposite. See how beautifully that runs into the back corner just by placing a nice spin on the ball. Yeah. All right, guys, I hope this video was helpful to you. Um, yeah, playing with spins is a really fun aspect of the game. Like I said, it's actually not talked about much in squash. I would really suggest you guys work on the outside cut first as this is more easier to execute 
and will probably have a bigger impact in your game because you'll play those shots way more than the other scenario. Um, but yeah, using these type of cuts to get your balls in a certain area of the court is great because you don't need that much accuracy anymore. You just have to rely on your consistent technique and on a consistent spin. So yeah, guys, this really works for me. Uh, it's what makes the game fun. Work on all sorts of uh, parts of the game. If you guys learned something new in this video, please do drop a like on the video, subscribe to my channel, and I hope to be back with you guys next week with some new content. Uh, yeah, squash for us out.